Hello and welcome to YQ Academy Tutorials. My name is Priyanka and topic for today's discussion is non-primitive data types in JavaScript. So first let's understand what uh, non-primitive data types and then we are going to discuss it with few examples as well. So the data types that are derived from primitive data types of JavaScript language are known as non-primitive data types in JavaScript. Uh, we have different types of non-primitive data types in JavaScript like objects array and then regular expression now let's discuss all these uh, non-primitive data types with few examples i'm using visual studio code for running the program i created a new folder namely javascript and using this icon over here i created a new file and i named this file as npdatatype.js .js is the extension used for javascript program in visual studio code so let's first see object data type. So object is a non-primitive data type in JavaScript and array in JavaScript belong to object data type. An object in JavaScript contain key value pair in its address. Let's see it with an example. Let me declare an object obj using var keyword. So uh, I'm declaring like this. And now let me assign a value in it. So it uh, will be a key value pair like a and then the value will be like 3 and then the next key I'm taking as B and I'm assigning value 4 to it and now let me write C as key and assign a value to it 6 let's say now let me show you the output of this so for this I have to write console.log and then obj1 now to see the output we need to write node and then the file name that is npdatatype.js in terminal window like this npdatatype.js and on clicking the enter button we can see the output like this uh, we can also see the type of uh, this uh, obj1 using type of operator like this console dot log and then we need to write the operator name that is type of and i need to see the type of this obj1 so i have to write obj1 here and in the terminal window i will be writing node np data type dot js and i'm clicking the enter button we can see the type of this obj is object uh, let me uh, tell you something about this obj1 so it means that when we refer to this obj1 um we are actually referring uh, to the address in memory which contain the value a3, b4 and c6 actually the key value pair uh, instead of this value directly. We can also change or mutate the value of this obj1 like this. So uh, let me write the variable name that is obj1 and then suppose I need to change the value of this key a. So here I have to write like this. And instead of this 3, I can write 10 to it. Now, let's see the output. So, first, let me write console.log. And then, let me write the variable name that is obj1. And in terminal window, let's write node and then the file name. And on clicking the enter button, we can see the changed value as this. So, uh, it means that we can change or mutate the value of this object. Now let's create object with name student. So I'm using let keyword this time and the object name I'm taking as a student. And now let me write like this. Here I'm taking the key as name and I'm giving the value to it, Harry. And now I'm taking another key as uh, uh, the, the particular student's roll number. And then I'm assigning a roll number to it. That is the value to it. Now let's print the value of uh, this object is student on console. So let's write console.log. And then let's write student.name. Then like this. And then write student roll number like this. So uh, this is to give a space between the name and the roll number of that particular student. 
and to see the output let's write node and the file name in terminal window like this and we can see the output as Harry 6. We can also check the type of this student. Um, so let me write console.log and then let's use the type of operator and then the student. Let's run the program and we can see the type as object. Now let's take uh, another data type uh, that is array data type. So with the help of an array, we can store more than one element under a common name with a numeric index where index starts from zero. So let me declare the array using var keyword and I'm taking array name as arr1 and let me assign a value to this array arr1 like 1, 2 and 3. Now uh, to see the output first let me write console.log and then this uh, variable name that is arr1 and in the terminal window let's try this. And on clicking the enter button, we can see the output. Now to see the uh, type of this uh, ARR1, let's write console.log and then the operator name that is type of and then this variable name that is ARR1. Now uh, remember that uh, I already told you that array in JavaScript belong to object data type. So here when you see the type of this ARR1, uh, you'll see this object as type of ARR1. Now let's try to change this one which is on index 0 to some another value. So uh, this is done like this ARR1 and then the index in which I need to change the value and then write the value which I need to replace it with 1. So let me write 4 and here let's write console.log and then the variable name that is arr1 and in terminal window to print the output let's write this and we can see the changed output as this. Now let's take some more examples of array like calling the array with no argument and uh, some more example. So let me write where and then a variable name a here let me write new and then array. Uh, this is the array with no argument and to see the output let's write console.log then let's write value of a like this and here to see the output we can write node uh, then the file name and we can see the output value of a because we didn't give any value so this is the output here we didn't give any value therefore it is an empty array it doesn't contain any argument now let's take another example here i'm taking an array with more than one elements so let me declare var b equals to and then again new array and then uh, let's uh, give some elements over here like one two and then hello now to see the output let's write console.log and then this variable name b and in terminal window you can see the output as like this uh, now let's move on to our last uh, non-primitive data type that is regular expression or regex. So first let me write a variable name using that keyword and the variable name I'm taking as regex. And here I'm giving big. What I'm doing here I'll explain you it. it I'll explain you in a while. First let me declare a variable text and here I'm uh, giving a string like Harry's big and big and very big human. Now if I want to replace this big to some another um, word for that I need to write console.log and then I need to write text and then uh, replace. Now uh, I need to give uh, regex and the word uh, to which I need to replace this big. Uh, Suppose I want to replace this big to um, some other word good. Now, if you run this piece of code, 
by writing a node and then the file name uh, you can see the output as Harry is good and big and very a big human here if you notice only the first occurrence of this pattern is changed or replaced another is same as it is so if I need to uh, change or replace every occurrence of this uh, string then I need to give here G G stands for global globally means for every occurrence so here uh, if you notice uh, it check for the complete pattern and change every occurrence like this okay here this big and then this big and then this big is replaced with good so this is the use of uh, uh, regex or regular expression so that was it for today's video thank you for watching